My name is Rami Burstein, I'm a professor of anesthesia and neuroscience at Harvard Medical School. The reason why touch hurts, it, the description all starts from patients who are telling us that their scalp hurts, they can't have long hair, they, they don't like to put their hair in a ponytail, they have to take off their glasses. Uh, their earrings. They don't want, they don't put their head on a pillow on a migrant side. They put it on the other side. If they go to the shower, they don't let the water run on their face. If they go outside and it's cold, they can't put a hat on or they don't put a baseball hat on. Everything that touched their head feels uncomfortable, feels somewhat painful. So it's not the, your age, it is the total number of migrant attacks that you've been exposed to during your lifetime that eventually change call, call what we call a neuronal plasticity where the neuron change their properties and begin to respond in a way that makes people feel like touch is pain. We hardly ever see it in children. Usually it takes seven, eight, nine, ten years of having migraine uh, before patients begin to feel what we call allodynic, more sensitive to touch. And if for those who migrant, first migrant begin at age 40, they usually don't have this sensitivity to touch in the first four or five years. The most important part of it was to send them a message that they're not crazy, that they don't make it up, that it is something real. Patients develop this skin hypersensitivity if they don't take migrant drugs like Imitrax, Maxel, Zomi, Grelpex, the triptans, very early into the onset of migraine, they usually don't become pain-free. The earlier they take it, the, early, the better chance they have to become pain-free.